Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. I look so loungy right now. I just realised when I looked in the mirror, I was like, I look very loungy today. Just a new set from Le Girls Le Boys. Just really nice and comfortable, just because this morning I had a bit of a stomach ache. And the one thing I want to wear when I've got a stomach ache is a really just cosy, comfortable um, tracksuit. So I am all tracksuited out today. At least I put on some makeup though, that's one thing. I'm just having a really kind of productive work day, getting loads of things wrapped up that I've been on my mind just to get kind of finished and folded away ready to kind of like post and all that kind of thing. It's a really beautiful day today though. So Alex is outside cleaning out the garage so I'm going to go and help him I think in a minute. Just spend a little bit of time outside like in the nice nice blue skies um, and just do a little bit of like outside tidying I think because I've kind of think I've finished my work for the day. We've got quite a busy week though this week, so I'll be able to bring you along for that as well. Plus I have a incredible and absolutely like sensational, if I say so myself, giveaway for you guys, which I'll tell you about really, really soon. In fact, I might tell you about that. I might tell you about that tomorrow. But it's an absolutely amazing giveaway over on my Instagram. I also need to hoover the house because we've been moving some things around in our ooh, we've been moving some things around in our attic. Um, and moving a lot of them into the garage just so the attic space is a lot more kind of clear and empty, not so full of stuff. You now like when you move into a house and you just throw everything into the attic, we're kind of trying to pull everything out of the attic and make it all really clear what should be in the attic, what needs to be in the garage, that kind of thing. So that's what we're doing today. It's a very kind of boring job, but someone's got to do it. This is looking like a nice little mess right now, but I got a gorgeous little care package from Atelier Cologne, which is so cute. So he sent this box over and it's with their new scent love osmanthus but it also must contain lemon balm lavender and osmanthus i think because they've sent over so there we are lemon balm and then they've sent over a little pot and some tools and some soil to pot it all with. This is just so, so cute. So I need to get doing this and potting some of these. But this honestly smells really, really gorgeous. I want to find out properly what is in this for you because I always get this stuff wrong. 93% renewable natural origin ingredients, the highest quality. Well, that is wonderful. Oh, it's so fresh. Oh, honestly, the Atelier Cologne scents just have that like such a natural, just the, the smells just smell so organic and fruitful. Like it doesn't, it doesn't smell like overly chemically, it just smells like it's come from the trees or the ground or, you know, and it just, for me, it's just wonderfully citrusy without being that really sourness, you know what I mean? Oh no, Osmanthus is like jasmine. Ooh, here we go guys. Osmanthus, sweet fruity floral. The fragrance is brightened up by lemons from Italy and grounded by the warm woody cedar wood from America. Gosh, I would have said that was more like clementine oranges, but maybe it's the, um, maybe it's the lemons. Either way, it's really, really stunning. So that was a gorgeous little care package. I need to clear that up now. Let's see where Alex has gone. Yeah, I've currently got all these things out into the hallway. We need to move them elsewhere. A lot of it is like my Christmas decorations. Some of it is like artwork from years ago, which is crazy. Like super old artwork. And then we've got loads of suitcases that we probably just need to get rid of at this point. So we've been just been finding, like pulling down a few different boxes from the attic, like I said. And then I found all of my old, um, my oldest handbags. I put them all in this like old Ikea box, just to kind of save on storage. And so many times, you guys, different people have asked me, um, could you show us like what your first ever handbags were and things like that. So I thought I'd show you while I have the opportunity. First ever designer for handbag. I'm scared of being spiders all over this store. It has been in this box, but you just never know it. First ever handbag was, God, it looks such a mess now. This one, it's a mulberry. I think it's called a Roxanne bag. It smells like amazing. <laughs> and this gorgeous like deep chocolate brown with gold buckles. It's so battered up now. I don't really know what to do with these. Like, do I just keep them forever? Or what, what do you do with these kind of older bags? But yeah, so that was the very first bag of all. I remember I got it in the sale. It was half price from £600 down to £300. And it was the biggest purchase I'd ever made at that point. I think I was, um, I think I was 19 when I bought that. 
And then, then the next purchase I made, again was Mulberry. I was a big, big Mulberry fan back then. And the next one I made was this one. Again, it's so battered and bruised. This is this was a Poly Push Lock bag. Being in the attic with all this dust and stuff, I'm just like, ooh. Yeah, so it's a Poly Push Lock bag. This was made really quite famous by Kate Middleton. I think she just bought it and it just blew up. And luckily on the day that she bought it, I had already kind of bought, I'd put it on hold somewhere. So luckily I managed to get one, otherwise it went out of stock. But I loved it, this massive Push Lock at the front. It was beautiful. It feels very doctor's bag now looking at it, but I was obsessed with this bag. I was so chuffed to bits that I got it. So that was my second bag. The next bag I bought, and to be honest, I'm not too sure why I've got this in here because it's such an amazing bag and I kind of feel I might get this back out and use it again. This was a Tory Burch, well it is, a Tory Burch backpack that I bought. And I had so many compliments on this. I remember pretty much every time I wore it, people would compliment it because it was so unique. Just like this big backpack but it opened straight down the front and I, abso I just absolutely loved it. So nice in the green leather. leather. It still looks like really, really good. So I got that one. And then, so that was like my third. And then I think the next sort of designer bag I went for was this one again. I think it's just from lying them in there. They've all just got a little bit misshapen. Um, Fendi. This Fendi bag. I just thought it was so chic and so sophisticated. I was obsessed with this when I got it. And it had, but it was a white top and then black. On like second thoughts, all, all I cared about was making sure I didn't get makeup on this and I was always so scared about like touching it. But otherwise, loved this bag. So that was, yeah, that was kind of it. And then after that, I just became the huge bag lover that I am today. Obviously kind of things took off in my career and I started to work with brands and you know and change the different brands that I loved and that I bought from so yeah and then also in here I've got a couple of my Strasburys all um, kept safe in their dust bags to keep them on all super super nice. If any of you guys remember my Strasbury in the Fro collection and we did the beautiful pink and we did the burgundy oh yeah this is the it's like a gorgeous super dark purple shade as well that was the mini one so i've still got those just as like a little reminder and a couple of the little pouches as well we did like a medium sized pouch and we did like a little mini pouch as well and we did a card holder i think is in here yeah so yeah so that's um those are my old bags now i just need to find a place to put these really it's a bit neater and tidier good morning guys I am just about to air up my hair, as I do now every single time that I wash it. Ever since using the air app, I've completely changed up my entire routine. I used to wash my hair at night and I'd just blow dry it upside down, rough blow dry every single time. Now, unless I'm in a mega rush, I will wash it in the morning and I'll air up it. So it gives it that blow dry look. So the past few months, that's why my hair has been looking so big and bouncy and curly, but more of like a naturally curly bouncy vibe. And it's all with the air app. So I just thought I get constant requests from you guys to act just to kind of go through exactly what I'm doing. This isn't sponsored by the way. Um, I literally just got so many messages of people telling me just asking like what exactly do I do just to give a bit more of a step-by-step -step guide a bit more in depth but not too over the top and also how I do the front of my hair the front maybe it's just the front bits you guys want to know about so I thought I would show you that in like really quick detail let me put your hair on top of my hair wrap box so I've just obviously I've just washed the hair I left it up in a turban for a little bit just to dry off a tiny bit and then I like to use the like the supersonic head on it just to give it a bit a little bit of a dry just so that it's like really quite moist it's not just sopping wet anymore you know what i mean i don't want it like super super wet okay i'm gonna take off the heads so in this box you get like you get that head as well as like a few different brush heads so if you're someone who likes to kind of brush through your hair when you're drying it I personally don't but you can and also the kind of the blow drying big kind of brush head again I don't really I'll be honest I don't really know how to use those particular tools I just love this for the big barrel curlers but there are also thinner barrel curlers as well if you've got shorter hair but I always like to use these too so 
So I always do to get the right ones. <laughs> I don't think it says right or left on them, it just shows the arrows. It just shows the arrows. But I imagine it's when it's on, I imagine that the arrows go up when I look at it. And that means that's perfect for the left. And that will therefore mean that this one where the arrows go the other way, if I hold it this way, that's how I know which one is which. <laughs> just so you know. I'm just gonna split it in half and tie up the other side. So it's just out of the way. Mainly because then that helps to ensure that you don't miss any bits of hair. That's the only real reason. Because you don't want to miss a big strand of it. Right, so I don't get massive, massive chunks. I get about this amount. Because if you're getting huge bits, it doesn't wrap fully and it becomes a bit of a nightmare. Take the air wrap underneath. You hold your hair like halfway up and allow this little bit to dangle. That's what the air wrap will suck up. Well, not suck up, but suck around the photo. So you turn it on. Now, if you see that bit that isn't in there, that's because it's a bit too wet still, but as you keep going, it will dry a bit and then it'll get, it'll get the picture. I don't want to get a second bobble. Sometimes it's easier just to get a second bobble, get everything out the way. Like, don't get me wrong. This looks amazing, but it does take a little bit of time. There we go. So I just like to drill it, pull it up and down, take it to the roots. Sometimes it gets a little bit too hot for me, so I will use the second button to reduce the heat a little bit. And then when I know it's completely dry and it's been heated through, then press the cool shot button up. that's that putting cold air through it and then off and then just slightly pull it up out and down now that is just going to drop a little bit out but not too much you just want to kind of allow it to do its own thing like naturally now just as well another question i've had is this is almost like an faq on the air wrap another question i've had is how do i keep it to stay one of the main reasons is i have bleached hair and Curls stay very, very well. Ooh, <laughs> that's funny. Curls stay extremely well in my hair because it's, it's obviously drier. And all I've put, all I've put in my hair here, is um, some L'Oreal oil. I've had some L'Oreal oil to the ends, and I've used a Red Ken mousse as like a volumizer, and that is it so far. But I'll add things in a minute. You can also kind of help it a little bit if it, some bits are a bit too wet that they don't want to. Yeah, just kind of use your hands. Then yeah, pretty much I'll just, just keep doing this, working forward. Obviously you want to get bits from the top, because obviously you've got like layers of hair, haven't you? So maybe just do one, one now from the top, then you can do one from the middle, one from underneath, and you just keep working along like that. So I've got all the way across the front, from the back to the front. Now these look big, like big Dolly Parton curls, but these will just kind of naturally start to just fall out a tiny bit, just so they're a bit looser. And you can also run your hands through it, I've not even touched it yet. So I've left a piece at the front, just kind of a natural kind of hairline down here. And honestly, there's no knack to this, it's just the exact same as what I've been doing everywhere else. literally yeah. and now like after I've done this like this side is dry and I need to get this done quick but now this side is done I'm just gonna leave this now I'm not gonna touch it whilst I do the other side and then I'll come back so just exactly the same thing again one thing I didn't say as well one trick that I use is when I go to cool shot it when I go to push up and cool shot it I will also turn the heating down straight to cold so the heating isn't it's not pumping out any heat anymore and therefore the cool shot can work a little bit quicker as well that's just one little thing that I found you can't use this air wrap dry to like dry to curl it it has to be your hair needs to be wet okay perfect 
second side done obviously as you can see this one's now dropping out beautifully just so it looks like the perfect like bouncy blow dry this bit right now is still very dolly part and <laughs> I almost just need that to kind of drop out a little bit I'm just gonna let it cool but I'm just gonna add a little bit of product so I add the Red Ken Windblown into the ends just kind of like hold them up and that's a bit of like it's like a texture spray so over top fashion works hairspray as well just to kind of hold that down now this one just to kind of help it along i'll just run my hands through it a little bit just helps break it up over the next half an hour or so this will drop out and it'll kind of meet this and then they'll look the same but i mean if there's ever any days that i'm going out or any bits aren't looking right or I'm not happy with the bits and I'll often just take the Dyson Corral and I'll go over it. Okay, so so this is a fully air wrapped blow dry. I mean look how beautiful it looks. Look how beautiful that looks. So for me now this will stay looking it won't stay so big like this over the next few days but because obviously you're sleeping on it and whatnot but the ends of my hair still stay still stay curled it retains a certain amount of volume it just looks so much better like all week now after i've done this so here comes the exciting part guys oh beautiful light okay guys sorry my um camera died and corrupted a piece of footage that that's only so manchester a piece of a piece of footage that I filmed earlier at the exact same the exact same time I was here before it looked like there's no difference but it's been a few hours I've been working and I realized that it completely corrupted what I was saying very excitingly this is a giveaway moment I am giving away a Dyson air wrap <laughs> I need to I need to pack all this away um I'm giving away a Dyson air wrap loads of you guys message me asking me for loads of advice on it so many of you have bought one and the amount of dms I've had saying your hair looks so nice I've got them bought one I've had husbands talked about the fact they've bought them for their wives or girlfriends which is just so sweet so I thought I thought it would be an amazing time to offer you guys this incredible giveaway to win an air wrap. So if you would like to win one, head over to my Instagram. Follow me if you don't already. But anyway, that's part of the giveaway. It's just like follow me, tag a few friends, just the usual kind of Instagram giveaway thing. Um, just so you know, this this giveaway is in no way anything to do with YouTube. It's nothing to do with Instagram. It's just me and Dyson want to do a really lovely thing for my audience. Head along to my Instagram. The latest picture you find will be all about the giveaway. And good luck to everyone who enters. Right guys, we have just got to London. We are here for a couple of days and we've got a couple of different shoots that I'm doing, um, which I'll bring you along to. But we've just arrived in London at the Marlebone Hotel. We stayed here a few times. You might remember I was here last year for London Fashion Week and it's just one of our absolute favorites because da -da, it has the outdoor terrace and this pushes back. So it literally is like a full outdoor area. Alex is already taking his little pictures. Look how nice this is though. I don't know any other hotel that has this open air view. That's um, Selfridges, just over there. In fact, you're about to go shopping, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna go do a little bit of shopping. TV, you've got a fire. So you can kind of have all this closed off like because it comes down like a screen, so you can keep it nice and warm in here. Or you can open everything up. It is so nice. They just opened again this week. They opened on Monday, so. Yeah, it's just so nice we've been able to get in at like the perfect time. We've got like a little bar area and this really lovely little lounge. It's so beautifully decorated in here. Through into the bedroom, enormous bed, really lovely little closet. It's like so perfect. And then into the bathroom, which is all marble, shower and bath and enormous mirror. So, so happy to be back here. Thank you so much to Malibone for letting us um, stay. We've got a really fantastic relationship with um, the people who look after the Malibone, so I'm just thrilled to be back. Also got my brand new blazer on for the first time. I love it. I thought it might be good for one of the shoots that I'm doing. Hair's still looking so good. <laughs> so while Alex is going to go to do some little bits of shopping, I am going to sit here and pour myself a gin and tonic, I think. 
that's better. Let's put on a quick face of makeup. Me and Alex are gonna head down for some drinks in the bar. We're gonna go to the 108 restaurant, I think, that's just downstairs. I'm just gonna go for a little bit of dinner. It's perfect timing. Got like a half seven booking. Can't have too much of a late one though, seeing as we have a shoot tomorrow. Dyson. Okay, very casual, well, somewhat casual outfit <laughs> just for some um, food and drinks. I've got my white Holland Cooper tee on. So comfy, Ooh. so comfy, just a lovely round neck. My amazing denim jeans from Holland Cooper, I have not taken these off since um, I got them a couple of weeks back. Yellow Jimmy Choo's, because why the hell not. Um, my wild cell blazer and then my Bulgari Diamond Blast bag. I just got this little uh, Bulgari serpentine on as well. So I've just come down and realised actually I've been to this restaurant before a couple of years ago. Me and Alex came here and we had like a little date night. It's it's so nice here and it's really lovely that it feels like a little bit of like hustle and bustle. It's different for me and Alex because we're always in the countryside and it's so quiet and it's kind of nice that like it feels like there's just a bit more going on like it almost could be like a little street in Italy here. And we're all just, we're just sat out having some food and some drinks. This looks delicious. So we're having black cod and all the trimmings. Good morning. We are eating out on the terrace this morning, making the most of this lovely London view. Alex has been out here since like 4 a.m. <laughs> For some reason, neither of us slept very well at all, which is really strange. <sighs> Alex had a race in mind, and I had a race in mind, but just at different, um, oh, well, gosh, that was good. Just at different times. So I couldn't sleep for about three hours, just thinking about stuff. And then Alex woke up about half three, four, I couldn't stop thinking about stuff. And then um, we were like ships in the night, not being able to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Which is such a shame, because now I've got a photo shoot. I just feel exhausted, absolutely exhausted. This breakfast really does look fantastic. We just ordered some room service, some ammo toast. Alex has got scrambled eggs. That looks absolutely delicious. Got coffees, and we've got fruit. Ooh, you've got grapefruit juice. No mm, nice. No hot sauce. <laughs> hot sauce themed. I'm gonna quickly get ready, like super quick. And I'm just gonna show you like a couple of things. I've really been loving this. It's Victoria Beckham Augustinus Bader. Um, it's a primer. She brought it out though in more of a gold tinted feel. But I just like this for a little extra boost of hydration right before I put on my makeup. But yeah, I do rate that. And if I bought it again, I'd buy the I'd buy this glowy one rather than the other one. Face today, I'm gonna use the Code 8 Radiate Balm. It's a big, big favourite of mine. I have shade NC15. So it should be a really nice one. I'm shooting with Dyson. Um, for some content, not necessarily for my channels but for Dyson's channels and like how-to videos and that sort of thing. I'm um, shooting with Larry as well, so Larry King is my hairdresser. He did my hair for my wedding. He's a good friend now. He does Alex's hair as well. It'd be nice to see Larry. Larry is also a Dyson um, ambassador. So it's nice that we get to work together on these, on these projects. Do you know what I really like? A Pret coffee. Really? Yeah. I'm so fussy about my coffees. I really want a nice. Um, what's what? I, what do I get? The rice milk. I like getting the rice milk, coconut milk, don't I? It prep. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I think if we pass one on the way to the Dyson store, because we're shooting at the Dyson store today on Oxford Street, it's almost opposite Selfridges, and you can buy every Dyson product in there. It's a really lovely store, but upstairs they've got like a, a salon like a studio, so that's where we're going to be shooting today, so it should be super nice. It's just a really lovely day, it's just going to probably be hilarious with Larry. Um, we are en route, we'll go and get a prayer, I think. <laughs> Ooh, I've got some really gorgeous eyeshadows to show you. Dior have just launched some new eyeshadow palettes, and they are stunning. Although I must admit, I don't know why brands still use these little, 
these little um, brushes. I've not used one since about the year 2000. And I feel like they could take up all this space without that. Maybe maybe there is a customer that still uses those bits. But anyway, the actual shadows. Would you not use them if you were on the train going to work? Maybe, I feel like maybe maybe if you've run out the door and you've forgotten to bring your blending brushes. But would you use a blending brush on the, like, would you have that in your handbag? Like if you were in work and you just wanted to do a quick top up? I suppose. I suppose, yeah. Speaking but... from experience here. <laughs> Like sh lots of beautiful, gorgeous shimmers and this beautiful matte, like burgundy brown, and then a bit more of a sort of cherry toned kind of red there in the middle. It is stunning, and I feel like a few years ago Dior did a similar palette for like autumn, winter, and I did not stop using it. So I feel like this is going to be my new go-to. I might use that today. But if you prefer more cooler tones or more golds and champagnes and shimmers, this is beautiful. Like this layout is gorgeous. And again, the beautiful shimmers. There are like slightly different tones of gold and champagne. Oh, it's so beautiful. So this one is, this one is Grand Bal, which is the name of their beautiful watches actually. So this one's Grand Bal. And this one is Mitza, 689 Mitza. This is 539 Grand Bal. So I think I'm gonna use the Mitza one. I'm gonna start with the goldy shade top left here. I'm doing this first of all without a without a wet brush. Very, very light coating. I'm now gonna try it with a finger. That's better. Like some some shadow palettes you can dip in with a brush and it's highly pigmented and it's straight onto the brush. Other times you need a finger, other times you need a wet brush. I find it's just good just to experiment with your product. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. You see how like shimmery. It's beautiful. The deeper toned um, shimmer now. These kind of colours should look quite nice actually with my emerald green silky shirt today. They do them in loads of different colours as well. And they're beautiful. Like I've got this in black, such a wearable piece. Like it's something I think I'm going to pull out all the time. Okay, and I'm just going to add now. Yeah, just into this deeper burgundy. Actually, I think I'm going to add it on a really thin little detail brush, just to my lash line. I'm really enjoying lining my eyes a bit more recently, just to give them a bit more definition. And then I'm just going to go back to like a fluffy brush again, and just a bit of bronzer back on the brush and just help blend all that through so yeah just kind of like add a little bit just quite not really perfect but just to that outer corner to get a bit of a smoky wing it's lovely that's so nice and just to finish that off i'm gonna add oh, also dior i'm gonna add the dior iconic overcurl it's their new mascara and i'm really quite liking it for quite open eyes it's definitely helping to add a little bit of curl to my lashes. The wand is great, so it's got this like curl to the wand like this. I've been using this since I got it, so it's always a sign of a good mascara when you go back to use it again. Okay, today's outfit on my way to the shoot. Very, very me kind of look. Just got, like I showed you, the emerald green shirt on, tucked in to my favourite the trousers for the last few years. Um, I've just got my Fendi belt on it with it as well, like the nude, and then I'm matching with the Dior sling bags. And I've got my Bulgari bag. We're here, we're at the Dyson store. It's literally right opposite Selfridges, which is great. I've already seen the Dyson air wrap, the yeah. new one. Oh, thank you. Hello! Are we, are we on time? Where's everyone else? Yeah, I think Harry's upstairs. Yeah. This is the new copper air wrap, guys. So this is the air wrap I'm giving away. It's brand new, it came out today in copper. This is beautiful. It's got a pearlescent copper box, the full kit, and you also get a velvet carry case with it. So this is the whole kit that you could win. So go along to my Instagram and just enter all the instructions. Super easy peasy, but you could win this brand, brand new copper air wrap. It's beautiful. So we've got everything down here, like the retail section, and then you can come up here, and they've got areas where you can get your hair done. Got Larry over here. 
we're going to be shooting some Christmassy festive hair looks. Look number two, done with the air wrap with the super tight barrel, purposefully trying to make it really tight little curls. 70s style. And we're finished with our final look. Larry just used a supersonic and blow dried it. Beautiful and bouncy, just like curled at the end. Looks amazing. So now we're gonna go get some lunch. We have had a really, really long productive day. It's been actually amazing. Yeah, so we were shooting earlier with the Dyson team, that's all coming out in like October, I think. We've just been shooting a really cool <laughs> reel on the balcony, on the terrace. It's a really cool like TikTok kind of reel thing for a project that we're doing with Adobe. We're working with Adobe this year, so I'm working on that. So yeah, lots of really productive, fun things. And now I'm just gonna go and get some dinner, seeing as obviously we don't live here anymore. I thought it would be nice. We don't live here anymore. We don't live here anymore, so I thought it would be nice here, here anymore. anymore. I thought it'd be nice if we just go and explore and just find a lovely place to eat and if we don't find anywhere we'll most likely come back to the hotel restaurant and eat here again because we had such a lovely night last night didn't we and they had a really good menu so we'll see we'll see how we feel really really nice day and just like that we are back inside the hotel we literally nipped out around the corner we found the ivy cafe We've eaten there before a few years ago and it's just such a lovely place. So we just sat at the bar and just had like one meal and a little drink. We must have been there for 40 minutes tops. And then just came back to the hotel and we're just sitting out. Alex is making himself a little tea. We're just sat out with the windows open. So it just feels like you can just hear London beneath and there's like jazz music playing down there and everyone's just like chatting. And it just kind of feels like a little bit of normality, which is kind of nice like hearing people out and about and things. This is lovely, we're just gonna sit and chill. We're both a little bit tired. Like I said, we didn't sleep very well last night. I've got a little bit of work to go through with Alex. There's a few things for tomorrow's photo shoot. Actually, it's a video shoot with Adobe, like I said. It's a video shoot that we're doing and it's for Adobe Max. If you might, you might remember. Tea. What kind of tea is it? Come. Is it? Oh yeah, I might have a little bit. Yeah. Thanks babe. Um, Last year we went to LA with Adobe, to Adobe Max. Um, we had such a fantastic time, learned unbelievable amounts. And we would have been going again this year had it obviously not been cancelled. But instead they're having a digital event. So it's all digital this year. So I'm just doing a lovely little video for that, which I'm excited about. And that is tomorrow. Good morning guys. We are on our way to Uxbridge today to film with Adobe. So like I said yesterday, we're filming something quite special in the Derby today. So it's making our way over here. And we're perfectly on time. So it's so far so good. Happy, sir. Happy. Wonderful. Okay, back in the house. And I'm, uh, I'm so glad that it just went so, so well. <laughs> Put you there. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, just got back. Just got a car home. I'm really glad about how well that went. I'm... I was actually quite nervous about it. I don't often get nervous about these things, but I wasn't sure about what the setup would be and and everything. Um, just gotten home to a few bits out of unbox I just thought I'd quickly show you. As I always say, I always like to kind of make it known that I don't take in anything now unless I say yes to it because I don't want to just receive items that I don't know are coming. I like to know what I've said yes to in order just to eliminate waste and also I don't want to just be like showing you stuff for the sake of it. So this is, this is these are items that have arrived that I'm actually quite excited about. First up, my, um, I finally got my hands on my own copy of the Arcadia magazine that I am on the front of. This is a really, really cool, like proud uh, career moment for me. I'm just, I'm just thrilled to have been asked to be part of the magazine. There's a really beautiful article in here. All the photos were by Sarah Brown and Lisa Potter Dixon did my makeup. Like this blue one, so cool. So yes, yeah, so I finally got my own copy so I can keep that, which is lovely. Um, I've also got a copy of Erica Davies' new book, Leopard is a Neutral. I just ordered this on Amazon. It was on pre-order and it's just been released, I think. As I, I think it has, I've just got it. So um, yeah, Erica is 
just such a fantastic writer and just female in general. She's someone I met years ago, it must be seven, eight years ago now, I went on a trip to uh, Mount Olympus with Olympus. Bit of a random trip, in fact it was a very random trip, I remember there wasn't even a PR team there with us, it was just, I met Erica on that trip and ever since we've stayed, even though I've, I think I might have seen her once since that time in person, since then we've kept like quite connected over social media just because I think she's just such a wonderful human and I love what she does so she's the one that I've continuously supported regardless of the fact that I haven't seen her because she always gives me that support back. I feel that's really important in this industry because yeah if you don't give people support back you can't always expect to be supported forever. It's nice to be a friendly person to support people. So anyway, I, um, I bought Erica's book. It looks absolutely beautiful. It's hardback. It's got this gorgeous cover. Got these like leopardy print bits on here. Um, it's a really useful style guide. Got some really lovely illustrations in here. Oh, you've got Trini to do a like a forward. That's cool. But it's just like I think all of her experiences and just lots of advice on style and clothing so I'm looking forward to reading that in fact I might get in bed early tonight and read that that'd be lovely eight greens have sent me some bits and I'm actually really excited about these because Caroline Hirons has been talking about them but those tablets those effervescent tablets that you stick into water and I mean I love me a Barocca so um, I'm looking forward to trying these I've actually since then heard loads of people talking about them 15 calories zero sugar and they've sent me the cookbook as well oh this looks actually really really great great so thank you to a greens i'm looking forward to trying that um little sexy box from christian louboutin i always say christian louboutin but i think it is louboutin but either way in here there are a few of the apparently the matte fluids, Louboutin Lou, Lou matte fluids. Slip glides onto fluid and then sets into a really lovely finish. Plus this collection has a gorgeous shade of red for everyone. Yes, yeah, so there's three different lip, I don't know if you've seen this before, the Christian Louboutin lip glosses are just packaging of dreams and then they pull out this little doe foot. So we've got a couple of different shades in here. They all as well come with this little dangly thing. You can kind of put it around your neck or it's a necklace if you want. But, you know, there's two different reds there. This one's like a super deep red. And also the beautiful nail varnishes, which are also might be matte. Matte nail colour. Cool. I mean, look at them. Literally, you could put your eye out on these things. Matte nail colours. And look at how nice this like, matte bottle finishes. So they're beaut. So thank you so much to the team for those. Ooh, Nars sent me their new Climax Extreme Mascara. I went away with Nars for their Climax Mascara, which is red. This one looks a lot thicker, the actual wand. I'm very much looking forward to trying that because I actually really, really like the Climax Mascara. Oh, there's a little face mask in here. That's always nice. And 100% Mulberry Silk face mask. Thank you, Nars. Lovely. And the scent over... The eyeshadow, Extreme Efforts eyeshadow palette. I like the. Sorry, ASMR moment there. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's that is nice. That peach in the middle. Love that. How nice is that range of colours? Some of the shimmers, some mattes. Ooh, I like that a lot. The one thing I think it's missing though, just a very light tan bronze that you use as your crease shade. Or is that just me? I'd love to make my own palette and just make it like what I'd use every day. One day, maybe. Another thing we got a bunch of, which was very, very kind, I think people just want to keep sending us alcohol and dosing us up, is this brand new, brand new brand of size called Yoshi. It's got this very light Japanese styling to the bottle, really beautifully designed. Um, the Yoshi Brewery Company. Oh, 2017! No, it's set up 2017, but I mean, it's still a fairly new company. And they're in different tastes. So they're made from Fuji Apple, premium Fuji Apple Cider, but this one is lychee, and then this one is Sakura Cherry Blossom flavour, and I think there is another one I've got as well. 
Um, so they sent me over a few of them, so I'll, I'll give those a try and I'll let you know how I get on, but really, really nice and beautifully bottled. I'm very excited that Asino reached out to me because I've got quite a few things from Asino that I've talked about. Um, and they sent me this absolutely, I mean, how obsessed am I with this colour? I'm still obsessed with it from a few years ago. I should go back and find when I first started going on about this colour of amber yellow. Very pretty amber silk shirt dress and it comes with comes with a little belt as well to cinch it i might actually use my own belt but i'm just gonna wear this kind of few buttons open probably just a bit more casual with a lovely belt to cinch it in obviously it just needs a bit of a um an iron really pretty little button deep pearlescent buttons on there but it's just a gorgeous silk fabric so I'm, I'm quite excited about that I might wear that tomorrow night actually we have our friends Janice and James coming over you might know Janice she's Janice Justma on Instagram those guys are going to come over and see the house and we're going to I think I've already spoke to, spoken to Alex like what should we have for dinner I think we might have like a Domino's pizza night and just have a really nice still do the table and everything but just have like Domino's pizza just catch up save cooking with them yeah, so those are all the little treats that I got from, um, I picked up from my PO box. Now, um, one thing I haven't shown you yet that I've, I keep forgetting to show you and I'm mega excited to, sh to tell you about. Um, as you know, I have been updating the closet to include some new windows. And the windows are finally in. You can probably already tell from the amount of light that's hitting my face right now how much better this is already. Dun 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 dun! It isn't finished yet, guys, obviously. Give Alex a minute. Alex is very kindly going to finish this off for me. But look at this difference. But oh, that amount of light that is just coming through this window now is so dreamy. Adding so much more to this room. So I've had three of these windows put in. This is a CK06. Let me tell you the process of this because I was a little bit um, unsure as to even how to get the ball rolling. I went onto the Velux website and in there you could put in your postcode and look for various Velux specialists in your area. There's a couple in my area and I emailed two of them just to kind of ask them for quotes of what kind of costs this would be to put in windows in a roof like this because again I had no idea I thought it was going to be thousands um, and to give me an idea of cost of the windows then my guy came over and had a look at the room just to see where we'd be putting the windows he had a look outside as well to see where the windows would be looking down on etc and we also rang for building regs so you can get a building regs person to come around just double check that they're happy with the structure of it and that it's been done in a regulated way so we did that as well so then we started the job so these here are trusses these are the beams that run all the way up to the top of the ceiling obviously to keep it the structure so they're trusses and now they look like this so they're just sat between the trusses they're letting so much more light in yeah so this is what i got ck06 my builder just let me know what flashing pack I needed to buy. Apparently the flashing I think it was on the outside and it connects the whole thing and makes sure it's, makes sure it's all waterproof I think. But anyway if you get in touch with someone on the Velux website like I said you should find it easy peasy. We got blinds as well and these ones I've gone for are great. They're called the duo blinds so they have, it, it, this is great because it like diffuses the light so if I'm in here and want to get change but still want to have lots of light this is great but if we have anyone staying, we've got loads of the rooms filled, we need to use this room. I can pull down this and then it's a blackout blind. So it's duo purpose. So overall now this room is so much brighter and lovelier. All the light comes through there. So I'm just going to get um, Alex very kindly is going to sand this and paint this all back for me so it's perfect again and then I can get all my bags back in this room and actually use it again properly. That finally went in and I couldn't be, could not be happier with it. So, so happy. I have Debbie on the way to my house. Debbie is my, my lash fairy godmother as I like to call her. She's been doing, Debbie's been doing my lashes now. She works with Nouveau Lashes. And she's been doing my lashes now for years. 
um, and she was kind of in the area. <sighs> Dev is gonna come over and do my lashes for me. We always just set up here in the orangery where she's got enough light and we just have a really good natter. And then that's it for the day. I'm just gonna tidy up everything and get on. Do you know what I do love doing when I get to this point? I, I love seeing how many of you actually get to the end. If you get to this point, please leave me a sunshine symbol to represent the sun coming through the window. <laughs> always nice to have a nice tedious link somewhere. I absolutely love that when I see you guys commenting all the different emojis. It's really, really nice to know you've come this far. And if you have come this far, do not forget to enter my giveaway. It's so worth entering. It's a brand new copper air wrap from Dyson with all the trimmings. You might as well just enter it because you never know. So yeah, good luck. And thank you for being here, guys. I'll see you soon.